Welcome back to Golf Center. I tried about four different titles on Stuart Moore before we went into the break, and I didn't get the right one at all. We know what it is now, though. Chief Operating Officer of the eGolf Tour, Stuart Moore. Welcome back to Hilton Head. Good great, to to, you. great to be back. Thank you guys for having me as always. This is uh, one of the great parts about uh, starting our season off down here on the island is uh, getting some great local exposure, getting a chance to speak with you guys, and then uh, getting our season cranked up next week. And it does get cranked up next week. Uh, you are playing where and when? It is the Palmetto Hall Championship presented by Weston Hilton Head Island. It'll be at uh, Palmetto Hall Golf Club on the Cup and Hills courses uh, February 26th through March 1st, so next uh, Wednesday through Saturday. So let's talk about um, some of our residents here on the island that want to go see these future stars Absolutely. play at Palmetto Hall. The first two days, they're going to be splitting time. Both um, the players will be playing both courses the first two days, Thursday and Friday, or no, Wednesday and Thursday, Wednesday, correct? Thursday, because they correct. moved it up a day this year. Mm -hmm. Make the cut on um, thir or Friday after or Thursday afternoon, and then Friday and Saturday, they're all going to be on the... On the cup course. They're all yeah. going to be on the okay. cup course. Yeah. So now, if I'm a, somebody who wants to come and watch, is there anything I need to do? Do I need to buy any tickets? No, admission is completely free. Um, it's really it's a great level to see these guys at. Obviously, uh, everyone knows the heritage um, down the street. You know, the ropes everywhere. You can only get so close. At, at our level, what we like to call maybe the equivalent of double-A baseball, um, you can really get up close with these guys. You can you know walk along the rough lines uh, uh, through each hole and kind of really get a sense of you know, how, how they are at this level, You know how they prepare, how they practice, their pre-shot routine. I think there's a lot to learn um, from watching guys here before they ascend to the web.com and PGA Tours. So we get a lot of spectators for this event. Certainly the members um, and volunteers out of Palmetto Hall make it for make it a great week. So there's a real tournament-like atmosphere that I think a lot of the, uh, the island residents will like. We really talked about uh, the pre-qualifiers into the qualifiers into getting into this. You'd think all of the great golfers in the world were already playing on the PGA Tour and the web.com tour. Uh, but they're not. There are a lot of guys who want to play there. I mean, a lot of guys, aren't there? Yeah, there sure are. You know, it, it's, it's a great industry right now, developmental tour golf. It, it's just so different from any other sport because there's no draft per se. So, you know, you could have a phenomenal college career uh, and, you know, you're still coming out here to, to earn your keep to make your way up to the web.com and PGA Tours. Uh, I know Peter Malnati, who's a current PGA Tour member, is in the field at Palmetto Hall next week. Yes. Stephen Fox, uh, former U.S. Amateur champion, is in the is in the field. So you're getting a really good kind of cross section of golf. The guys working their way up, and also we got a play, uh, plethora of Web.com Tour guys. Uh, they don't have a tournament next week, so a lot of guys coming back down to stay fresh. And, and like I said, with Peter Malnati, I mean, he's a full member of the PGA Tour this year. Uh, he's going to try to Monday qualify for the Honda Classic, but you know that tournament's sandwiched in between two World Golf Championships, and so you know he's looking for a place to play next week, so hopefully we'll see him out there at Palmetto Hall. Stewart actually beat me to the punch with Peter Malnati, because yeah. I remember him, and it's funny, I remember him from playing in the event two years ago. I'm sure he was here last year, but I remember two years ago, he did not make the cut. Yeah. And the next day, from Saturday, he was out there playing with some Palmetto Hall members. I saw him on the first tee, and as disappointed as he probably was, he couldn't have been nicer to those people, a real gentleman. It should be fun to watch him play, because like Stewart said, he's got his PGA Tour card down he's playing some good golf absolutely you know peter's just a, a down-to-earth kind of guy it's funny he told me he was going to sign up for the tournament and, and you know he's got six-figure contracts with clothing companies and manufacturers now i said peter if you win this tournament you have to take your old university of missouri golf shirt that you wore for four years on our tour and put it on for the check photo he said he would so we'll see what happens <laughs> well Stuart, thank you so much for being with us we hope the tournament goes very well and we'll be definitely out there watching next week great guys thanks for having me